AccurateHipHop.com, the reporter newspaper online.com. As you can see, we on the mighty, mighty west side. And when we on the west side, we had nephews, man. Listen, man, they got some of the best barbecue. They got real barbecue. Now they got barbecue with fried ribs. They frying ribs over here. They got the best wings. They got burgers. They got anything that you can imagine. Fried green tomatoes on deck, man. Listen, we're going to go inside and see what's up. See what the food is hitting with, man. And you already know it's going to taste good, man. It's your boy, Hiram My King. We're about to go inside and see what's up. We're inside of nephews, and it's more than just carry out food this is home home down home stuff man what kind of tell everybody what this kind of food is <laughs> comfort food man is that what it's called yeah it's called comfort food comfort food that's yeah. exactly what i was looking for you yeah. already know yeah. and you're the chef uh, a real chef you're not just somebody with a hobby you're no. somebody who love what you're doing you went no. to school for this thing yeah, right yes yes we're formally trained formally trained and then that's what a lot of people would, would know that's why that door keep uh, buzzing because they got a real life chef D. Tell everybody your name. I know I just said it. Tell everybody your name. How long you been cooking? Well, yeah. Uh, my name is Derek. I've been cooking for over 35 years. Uh, I've been a chef at Stonefish for 10 years. I was a general manager for the Outback Steakhouse, over 12 Outbacks in 12 different states. I've owned uh, two or three different restaurants plus a nightclub. So we've done quite a bit. Yes, sir. And this is not your first location. This is the second uh, location. This is the second location. And you guys have been here for about two years. Yeah. Two and a half, going on three years now. And that's good, man. So listen, man, real quick. Now, this is cabbage. This is cabbage. You and I were talking before the camera came on. Right. And I learned something today. Right. I, I said, no, I'm going to just go put it out there. The, a couple of friends that I have dealt with in my lifetime, right. when they cook cabbage, greens, they cook them so limp that I believe the natural nutrients are gone. Is that yeah, true? Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, it is. You might as well just drink the broth because all the nutrients, like you said, is cooked out of it. Um, uh, we cook ours al dente, which is to the point of perfection. You know what I mean? Right there, with all the nutrients in. The nutrients is like live and bursting with flavors. Um, man, I wish you guys could smell this. This should be man. smelling vision. It smells really wonderful here. And I'm not just saying that because I'm making it. Now, you asked me a question earlier. What separates us from the other people? Well, in my personal opinion, it's... I, I, I think it's just the service, the level of service and dedication that we dedicate to what we do. Uh, everything is made from scratch, nothing is pre um, and Even the coleslaw. Everything. Man, that's what scratch. I... Nothing is pre um, We treat people like family, you know what I I'm see. saying? And the hospitality that you uh, experience when you come here, because coming here is an experience. Uh, we like to attack your taste buds. You know, and our mantra is, has anyone told you they love you today? We love you today. Absolutely. You better say, that's the, that's the slogan. Uh, yeah, that's our mantra. That's what we believe in, you know. Uh, we believe that um, we put love and understanding in our food because Love and understanding of food was being misunderstood, so we were just here to correct the thing. Hey man, you know man, you better say it and don't live. <laughs> hey man, I got a question one, one more that? before you leave. I know you're busy. Um, you, have, you guys have beef ribs on deck today. Yes, Is that we seasonal do. or just special? Actually, that somebody you know, know. Um, here's the situation. We look for a certain quality of product. If we can't get what we're looking for, then we're not just gonna settle for anything. Um, but you got absolutely to be exactly what we're looking for for number one. Uh, number two. Um, all the time our purveyors don't have what we're looking for. So we have to shop around and then once we find the product that we're looking for, then we'll purchase it and then we'll present it to the public. Because every time you come here, we want oh, you to be God. used to the same thing. We want to get it right every time, not just periodically. You understand? And yeah, I do understand because I noticed, um, I like to be, be friends, right? Absolutely. I can cook them myself. Okay. Not obviously the way you cook them, but okay. I can cook them, but I noticed something very different. What about them? Y'all's ribs ain't from Save a Lot. I know no, that for a fact. No, 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 if it was no. meat on them ribs, man. A lot of meat on them ribs. And that's the take on beef ribs. A lot of people say beef ribs don't have as much exactly. meat. Exactly. But that was not the case here. Exactly. As they seen earlier in this here video. Exactly. You guys are doing it, man. Hey, what's your hours, man? Tell somebody if they want to come down. Well, actually, we're open Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Uh, we're open Saturdays from 12 uh, noon to 10 p.m. And Sundays, we're juggling Sundays. We used to be open on Sundays. But it's not something that we are totally against at this point. But we also do catering, and that's where we focus most of our catering at is on our Sundays. So, so are we going to grow? Maybe um, get other locations? Actually, we have another location in mind right now that we're currently in negotiation process, uh, negotiation with, right. uh, which is looking pretty promising right now. Um, 
just know by December there will be another one of these up somewhere. But hey, man. Really, really soon. Hey, man. Well, listen, I appreciate you for taking the time with us. AcroHipHop.com, the reporter newspaper. And I definitely appreciate knowing that this is beyond just somebody making chicken. Yeah. Like, yeah. you a real chef, man. Yeah. Let me yeah. shake you. I'm going to give you that. Yeah. You know, he's going like this. You know what I mean? Boom. Because gloves are paramount. You, ba you better say it, man. Listen, have some fun to get something done, y'all. All right, man. Peace. AkronHipHop.com, the reporter newspaper online.com. Um, a lot of people always have the pork ribs on deck, but look what's on deck here today. Tell somebody what we're looking at, brother. Well, these are your beef ribs that we have brought in special. Uh, we get a lot of orders for them, and sometimes we don't have them on, on uh, in stock, but we're never going to sell anybody anything. We want to have some meat on the bone. And if you look at these beef Man. ribs here, Those you are see the that they're pretty meaty. Yeah, they're and, uh, totally different than the ones I get from Save a Lot, brother. Well, <laughs> you got to pay for what you want for it, you know, but it's the money that talks. And if uh, you want a good product, you got to spend a little bit more money. So when we talk rib dinners here, the beef rib dinner is different than the pork rib dinner? Yes, pork is, uh, pork is, uh, well, I'm, I'm not going to knock any type of meat because I cook it all. But um, I, me, myself, I was brought up on beef. Word. So beef was a thing in my family. Uh, pork was a, a meat in my household. Right. But I don't knock anybody that eats pork. I mean, get your belly full. You better say it. Got it right here at Nephew's for you. So let me ask you a question now. A uh, beef dinner consists of what? You get about three, you get the three bones, and you're going to get two sides with that. And I think that's going to be about $15. And that's interchangeable. You can do the pork rib at the same price, three bones? You get anywhere with the pork rib bones, you're going to get four bones, and that's $13. You better say it. So you mean three of these bones here? Look at, look at, flip this over, man. Show, show somebody what I'm really talking about when you say meaty. This is ridiculous. Okay? Okay? It's all meat in there. Man, that is ridiculous. Look this one up for you. Look at that. AcroHipHop.com, the reporter newspaperonline.com. We had nephews on oh, diagonal road across the street from the house of the Lord. We had ordered some nice food today. We could have got ribs, chicken, chicken wings, fries, good soul food. But today we're gonna order some fish today. And we just got it right now, so we're about to do a taste test on the quick side. Let me open this real quick. Oh yeah. What you working with? For this. We're gonna go with the size first, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna go with the mac and cheese. And yeah. green beans. Oh, it so, smells good, man. So I'm a mac and cheese fan. I'm not gonna lie. So I gotta try the mac and cheese. Let's move. We gonna see how it's hitting. On a, on a quick side here. Okay. Macaroni and cheese is my favorite, by the way. So we are gonna do a taste test. See what this is hitting for. Oh yeah. Oh, this is awesome. Is it that thing, man? Oh, it yeah. look good. Look creamy and everything, man. No, oh, no doubt. Plenty of cheese on it, you know what I'm saying? Just how I like it. You know right. what I'm saying? You see how the cheese is oh, it's real. dripping down. It's, even, it's a real thing yeah. right here. It's dripping. <laughs> no doubt. So, look at that. Next, we're going to go with the green bean. Okay, go ahead. Oh, they got potatoes in the green bean. They got potatoes in the green bean. That's how you know it's about to hit. Oh, you know. Oh, which one? Oh, Mike. Hold on, hold on. Mike. I gotta get one more bite. I, I see bite you ain't there. <laughs> you I eat. gotta get one more. You ain't taste testing, you eat, huh? Yeah, this is good. It's good? It's got that good flavor. Potato got good flavor in it. You know what I'm saying? And as you can see, it come with the turkey wing in it. They add that extra flavor to it, so it's on yeah. point. So what else we got? What else we got? So now we're gonna go to the main dish. We got fish. Now you can get catfish, perch, whiting, they sell it all. So we're gonna try this fish real quick. Oh look at the smoke. Oh yeah. Yeah, they got taste. 
right. And like, you enjoying that, brother. Well, that's good. <laughs> he was like, man. I'm a big batter fan. I like it when a good restaurant serve up a good batter. The batter on this is excellent. Real Man. flavorful, the just the right seasoning, and top off with the fish, you know what I'm saying? Hit with the fish real well. Oh yeah. So that look good, man. It look good, man. Hey, man, look, check it out. Do me a favor. Check out the, um, the flyer and everything. Tell us what the address and everything is before we get out of here. We have nephews, they cater, and they deliver, by the way. They deliver. That's good to know. Oh, yeah, that's great to know. 1675 and a half, Daniel Road, Akron, Ohio, 44320. You can catch them online at www. Dot nephews restaurant dot com. Uh, you'll go through the menu a little bit. So, okay. So, this is agrohiphop.com. This is your boy Cat Israel. Peace. Oh, I know I can do that.